Our detection engine should detect this because as you can see here, psexec.py went there and requested shares on our remote machine. We found a writable in admin and we uploaded this file. This definitely should get picked up. Hello, welcome to IT Security Labs. And in today's video, I'm going to test the Elastic Endpoint Security Solution. This is a free open source tool that was deployed by the folks at Elastic, and it's supposed to come with a detection engine. So what I'm going to do today is I'll test this detection engine by generating a simple attack from a Kali Linux machine to a Windows Server domain controller. And if this thing works, we should be able to detect this attack. Then we can analyze and see what it looks like in the Elastic Detection Engine. So as you can see right here on my screen, this is what it looks like. This is the overview section. I'm already generating events, sending all the data to Elastic Sim. If you haven't heard of the Elastic Agent, here's the information about it. It's a free open source solution for now. You can also pay for it and you can use it as a SIM for endpoint security, threat hunting, and cloud monitoring, and even more. Here's what it looks like uh, as a quick network diagram. We just have the internet with the cloud. That's where my SIM is running. I have a PFSense firewall, a layer 2 switch, and a domain controller is on 192.168.5.45, Kali Linux, which, are, which I'm going to be using to attack, then uh, Elastic SIM. So it's a very simple setup. Let's attack the DC right now. So in our Kali, the first thing that we need to do, let's ping 192.168.5.45. Make sure that uh, we have connectivity so we can get there. For the attacking process, I'm going to use psexec.py. I'm just going to run an IP config command on the domain controller. So the way this attack works is that psexec.py would go to my domain controller, search my file system to see where it can write files, then write an executable file there, which is uh, just psexec. Then we can run psexec remotely and hopefully get the information. This system should detect that a remote system is trying to mount uh, an executable on our domain controller and it should detect it. So that's a quick overview of how this is going to work. So the first thing is let's locate psexec.py in here, as you can see. I have my psexec.py in this location. CD to that location because this is the imp packet. It's the most, most awesome uh, tool out there. Then after that, let's run our psexec.py. Uh, we're going to go to the win domain. That's the name of the domain that I'm attacking. I'm going to I'm going to sign in as administrator with password Vagrant and this IP address. So we are assuming that the attacker already has access to our network. So let's run that and see what happens. There we go. Our detection engine should detect this because as you can see here, psexec.py went there and requested shares on our remote machine. We found a writable in admin and we uploaded this file. This definitely should get picked up. We uploaded an executable on a domain controller, so it should pick it up. Then we opened service manager on that machine. Then we created a service. So this should all be malicious activity that should be detected right away. So let's go back to our Elastic Sim and see what happened. Did we see anything in our Kibana interface here? We go to detections. So as you can see, we did malware prevention fired right here. And yeah, it says malware prevention fired. It thinks it's malware, which is exactly what we expect it to, to do. So let's analyze it. So security SIM solution works for me right now, as I can see it. Uh, let's see what's happening here. It should tell me where and what file it was executed. And in this case, we know um, the file that we executed. Okay, it says it's, it's a malicious file because it's an executable. It's an intrusion detection that detected it. And that's the event ID. That's for further analysis. If you wanted to further uh, track down this event within Kibana, we can try to find that as well, which I will, I will track it down in a little bit here. But what I'm interested in is the full path to where the executable happened. So it will happen in C Windows there. This is the full path where the executable was executed. So we know 
without a doubt that this works and this is on our host machine and that's the IP address here so if you wanted to just filter by that we can just click there as well so going back to our host so now we, we, we saw that in the detection engine right that we have an executable that was launched we found out where it was uh, located let's go to our actual host here on the D DC and see if it shows is also as an alert yes here is the external alert here for endpoint security we have two for malware intrusion because i ran it twice and let's look at uh, this one again it's the same event here malicious file was uploaded and now we can tell right in here that this is the file path so you see the file c windows and uh, mcy.exe if we go back to our kali linux we should be able to see that that's the same file that we uploaded from here so we can conclude that the elastic sim detection engine really does work and from here we can take it further we can even investigate further like who was signed in we can even find out um what time it was and we can go to this machine and clean it up so yes the elastic engine work it works and i plan to play around with it more so if you haven't please consider subscribing and liking my videos but as you can see guys this is awesome this is fun stuff that was just a quick test of how uh, the elastic sim and the detection engine works otherwise i will see you in the next video